Wonderful day. I am Wellness Hero, and this is a video about the Orville Dam Spillway. And well, it's basically more about how I feel about the resources, the updates that are available and happening, and the current situation. Right now, there's the updating's not happening in a very quick and effective way. One of the resources we have available by the California Department of Water is this incident update. And this is uh, specifically talking about that um, all the evacuation centers are currently closed. And that's fine and dandy. But just recently, there was a press conference held. And again, it's important to know the timestamp. So today is March 5th, 2017. And we're looking at March 3rd, three day, two days ago. And through an Orville News conference suggests that there's going to be a potential future evacuation. Now, this video certainly isn't about spreading fear under no way, shape, or form. But um, again, the focus of this video is about the resources available to us and how they are actually updated. And this is a picture from the San Francisco Chronicle. I'm going to list all the links in the description box below. Please check that. This is all about the resources. But the Feather River, which flows out of... Lake Oroville, because they've stopped the flow, there's no flow going out of there. And as we look at this awesome resource, we can see that the outflow from Lake Oroville is zero. And it's been zero over the last 24 hours. Again, let's look at the timestamps. Today's March 5th, and this is over the last 24 hours from 9 in the morning yesterday, March 4th. And basically, it went from 2,000, they completely cut it off, and the elevation in the water has went from 850 to almost 853. Now, why is that of any concern? Is that, you know, three feet, is that really a big deal? Well, one, the lake is a cone shape, so every foot is significantly a lot of water. It's not just like a, a cylinder where the walls are going straight up and down perpendicular to the ground. It is a complete different situation here at Lake Orville, and these really are steep and just imagine how the dam is that every foot going up and increasing is is really devastating another thing that we have to look at is the power plant the hyatt power plant um that is shut down and what i'm going to take you to right now is the department of water resources twitter account and they don't tweet very often let's look at the last tweet again it's march 5th 2017 and the latest tweet two hours ago crews have removed 329,000 cubic yards of material. Nobody knows what 329 cubic yards of material actually is at the Orville Spillway. Is this just the crap that they poured in at the top and then through the release of water just went down to the bottom? I mean, I think that's really what we're looking at here is basically all of this debris down here is from stuff that they've dumped to try to fill these holes and it's just a tremendous amount and it caused actually a dam down here and it caused the thermolito diversion pool to back up where the power plant was shut down because they couldn't release water from the power plant because the water levels were higher than where the release outlets were and from all this dammed up material they're now been clearing this out they've been working over 24 hours a day it is very interesting. So as we see no outflow, okay, let's check this out. Let's validate some of the resources. We have the inflow right now, latest March 5th, 18,351. Well, as we go through the resources and we look at the latest incident report from yesterday, there's not even an incident report from today, March 5th. So March 4th, this is the latest incident report. And what we're simply looking at is they're saying somewhere between 10,000 and 18,000. It's over that number. And the lake level's rising from 848 feet to 850. Well, it's 853 right now. And the biggest aspect is all these updates. Really looking at what's happening downstream, what's being put out as riverbanks are collapsing. And they're putting out these tweets it, that nobody really understands. I don't know what 329 cubic yards of anything is. I think they dumped probably at least that much at the top to kind of plug this. And one of the things that we're looking at right now is Lake Oroville. It's the Hyatt Power Plant. And we take this into a deep channel of operation. And they're clearing out this massive debris field right now. And it's been going on nonstop. They have all this energy going into the spillway into making it happen and what we really want to emphasize is following all these links 
22 hours ago, they shut down the power plant. Two days ago, they've only made two tweets in two days, the water resources. And when we look at some of the data, when we look at, you know, that they've, the water levels are rising, they don't like it to get above 850. It's at 853. And the biggest aspect of everything, one of the things that we have to pay attention to is the massive erosion that's taken place. The entire timeline of what is gone in, gone out, and the updates are not happening very quickly. I'll put all the links below. Here's a, an entire aspect of what has happened during February, the month of February. And seeing at 901, 901 feet is when the emergency spillway toppled. It caused a lot of erosion. That's when a lot of the problems have happened. But they've been releasing water and through the process of releasing water, the power plant got backed up. All this debris got dumped. And we don't have a lot of current access information. A lot of the most recent stuff is over a day old. And as we follow the potential evacuation going on, and that was you know two days ago they announced that. But then when you look at the latest incident, which is actually from March 4th, the incident upweight update at the spillway, we can clearly see that the evacuation centers are closed. Hopefully they're preparing, but road closures all around the area. Locals obviously know that. And if you're media and you're covering this, and that's one of the reasons I'm making this video is to put out accurate links, but for your safety and protection, if you're going to be videotaping in the area, you know, if you're not having the safety equipment, like the hard hat and the reflective vest, they're not going to let you in. And I've already seen a couple videos from locals in that area. But the biggest thing is be safe. Know that the updates are not happening very, very quickly. That's one of the reasons why I stopped making videos. I didn't find a lot of good, valid resources that were giving us a clear picture of what's happening. But when we look at the Twitter account of the Department of Water Resources, crews are nonstop working. They're removing things. The lake levels are going up. And the last thing is the situation is always ongoing. What we need to look forward to is the next six months. And that's where we're going to see a lot of change, a lot of erosion, and a lot of uh, interesting turnabouts. Because as we scramble to make things happen, I just don't really feel that uh, we're being updated and getting the most accurate information. But I'll put all the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I am Wellness Hero. If you have any other good resources that you find out there, make a comment. Put a link to that. And with that, we want to share valid information we want to share the most updated information and we want to know you know what's truthfully taking place because as we go through youtube and twitter there's a lot of clickbait out there and that's not what this is about this is about putting out timestamps, putting out accurate forecasts and most importantly what is the government saying what is the department of water saying today is march 5th 2017 i am wellness hero thank you for watching like if you do, click that button. That's how things work on here. Leave a comment below, especially if you have another link. Have blessings on your day. Live enthusiastically and stay hydrated. Namaste.